having experienced a great deal of trauma during the time I was growing up, mainly in the form of physical and emotional abuse, there's a lot of damage that needed to be repaired. In addition, there's a lot of foundation building that also needed to happen. And so for that reason, having this desire, commitment to do whatever it took to facilitate the much needed healing and growth, I was willing to test out any practice or therapeutic intervention within reason that held promise. And so I explored lots of practices and interventions. Some I found were not that effective. And of course, I let them go. And yet those that I found to be the most effective, I've continued to work with them over the years by incorporating all these various practices and interventions, I found that that has greatly accelerated my healing and growth. And I encourage other people to do the same. And whenever I'm working with people, or even if I'm just talking with someone, I'm always thinking in terms of like, what is it that this individual needs? What tools or resources? What can I share with them or recommend that's going to help this individual to progress further along their own path of healing and growth? I'm Ben Ufana. And going back to 2023, for years I had heard about these sensory deprivation flotation tanks and the kind of amazing experiences that people would have. And I'd never had the opportunity to try it or test it out for myself, but a friend of mine offered me a free session. So it's like, okay, sure, let's do it. And the first time it was somewhat of a challenge. I had some difficulty relaxing into it. I think a lot of it was because of the tension I was holding in my body at the time and being able to trust or let go initially that my body would be supported or suspended. With subsequent visits, I found I was able to let go and relax more into the experience. And I found that being suspended in complete darkness and this bath of salt water in many ways acted as a vehicle to transport me into these profoundly deep states of relaxation. And the fact that over the years, I developed my own system of intensive meditation practices. And so naturally, while I would be suspended in the flotation tank, I would be working with these various practices. And that too helped to deepen my experience tremendously. Since the COVID pandemic of 2020, I've been traveling a great deal from various cities around the country, and hopefully I'll be traveling again internationally before too long. During August and September of this year, 2024, at the time I'm recording this video, I didn't have any work lined up in other cities, and I found myself in New York City for the months of August and September. And I was talking with a friend about my experience of doing these flotation sessions in East Hampton, Massachusetts, at this place, to Go With The Float. And so my friend was sharing with me that there was a place in the Greenpoint section of Brooklyn, vessel floats, and that they were offering an infinity package, which means that you can go every day and do a flotation session. And it was a bargain price. So I called up, I asked a few questions, and I headed on down and signed up. And that was on August 1st. And so I did 39 consecutive flotation sessions. Day after day, I kept returning. And then I went upstate for about four days. But as soon as I returned to New York City, I resumed. So in total, I did 57 days of flotation sessions within a two-month period. And I know so many people in our modern-day world tend to dabble 
in healing or spiritual practice, if they meditate or do any kind of practice at all, maybe they'll do it once or intermittently, or maybe they'll do a session of deep tissue body work or, or do one or a few sessions with the gifted healer. But I find that in order to get the best results, it's critically important to be committed as I do my own practice day after day, working with the system of meditation practices I've developed, I get much greater results. When people come to work with me, those individuals who come in and they do repeated sessions, especially if they're stacked closer together, their bodies become far more responsive and the results are far more powerful. This is why I emphasize you know, the commitment and consistency Doing all these sessions day after day, I was able to go so much deeper. I was able to descend down through so many layers, process that much more of my lived experiences and my emotional responses to different things I'd gone through either more recently or over the years and diffuse more of the stress that was held in my body. So again, when you have this commitment and you're consistent, you get far greater results. I'm going to be referring to my article here that I'm just completing because as usual, I pack so many details in the articles I write and I want to make sure that I include everything important that needs to be said. So anyway, the flotation sessions offer a multitude of benefits. The high concentration of Epsom salts supports the body by allowing the muscles and joints to relax. That helps to reduce chronic pain and inflammation, to relieve stress. It also helps the joints to release tension while reducing chronic pain. These sessions are said to be especially beneficial for those managing chronic conditions such as fibromyalgia and arthritis. The magnesium absorbed through the skin aids in muscle recovery, detoxification, and balancing electrolytes. These flotation sessions also enhance emotional well-being by increasing the production of endorphins and serotonin, further contributing to a sense of relaxation and mental clarity. While suspended in a bath of salt water and enveloped in total darkness, the nervous system is able to shift into states of deep relaxation, reducing stress hormones such as cortisol while inducing a profound sense of calm. As the body releases tension and the mind quiets, both physical and mental stresses begin to dissolve. The processing of these stresses and distressing emotions combined with the sorting through of our issues and concerns helps us to decompress. Mentally, these flotation sessions help to reduce anxiety and depression and stress by calming the mind and creating a sense of emotional well-being. And the sensory deprivation and relaxation facilitate a shift from the typical beta brainwave state linked to active thinking into alpha and theta states associated with relaxation, creativity, and problem solving. And this allows the mind to strip away noise and static and clutter, resulting in increased focus, mental clarity, and inspiration. It's the heightened states that we're able to access during the flotation sessions that bring profound insights, enabling us to approach people, situations, and life with fresh perspectives, ultimately enhancing our overall performance. As previously mentioned, over the years, I've developed my own system of intensive meditation practices. So whenever I'm doing these flotation sessions, just as I do when I'm practicing on my own, I'll breathe into any feelings or bodily sensations that arise. And what I find is by doing so, that enables me to drop into profoundly deep states, thereby amplifying the effects of the flotation sessions themselves. Now, so many of us, we're overworked and overwhelmed. We're facing relentless pressures in our daily lives, whether it pertains to work stress, relationship struggles, financial challenges, the constant battle against fatigue because we're not getting enough sleep, 
And when we're caught in the cycle, it can be so difficult for us to decompress and find the space to process our emotions and our lived experiences. So we end up carrying around all those stress and conflicted issues and all these unprocessed emotions. It builds up in our bodies and it creates enormous amounts of tension and it makes it harder for us to connect with ourselves and with other people. And to add to it, so many of us were flooding our sensory channels, ingesting massive amounts of sensory input. That could be with music videos and podcasts and documentaries and shorts and reels and TikToks and even worse, if you're gaming. Our bodies and minds become overwhelmed trapped in the state of sensory overload and we can't process what it is we're experiencing and what we don't process remains trapped inside of us indefinitely and that's because the impressions of our lived experiences and our emotional responses that we're not able to digest it's never going to just go away it accumulates and that's going to dull our senses even have a deadening effect upon us and over time the authentic core of our being gets buried underneath all these layers of stress and static all the unprocessed emotions as it continues to accumulate we begin to lose touch with that inner light this inner spark that brings light to our presence when we're able to step away from the constant barrage of stimulus and immerse ourselves in a flotation tank our body and mind finally have the space to decompress and in the state it's like the noise and the impressions the trapped emotions can begin to surface there's something about being suspended in a bath of salt water enveloped in complete darkness that activates this deeper intelligence within our body and mind our emotions, our memories often rise to the surface during these flotation sessions, sometimes revealing experiences that we may either have forgotten or only vaguely remember. This provides a valuable opportunity for us to address the unresolved issues. And by processing and working through these memories and emotions, we can build greater resilience, thereby enabling us to navigate life's many challenges with more strength and clarity. What I find is by breathing into the feelings and bodily sensations that arise during these flotation sessions, it helps me to digest the accumulated emotional residue and dissolve the layers of built up stress, facilitating healing and growth. I feel a growing sense of lightness, along with heightened states of awareness and greater self-awareness. As that happens, I could sense my authentic core emerging. And as this presence strengthens, I gain greater insight, clarity, and a renewed sense of purpose. During these flotation sessions, I've been experiencing a heightened sense of awareness in my torso, especially around my heart and lungs. And as I digest the stresses and the emotions in this region, it feels as though this part of my body is becoming less dense and almost transparent. My heartbeat echoes through my chest and my breathing, slow and deep, takes on a life of its own, leaving my heart and lungs feeling sensitive, vulnerable, and even raw. I'm often amazed by the surge of creativity that emerges during these flotation sessions, and I often gain profound insights. The challenge for me is to make sure that I write down whatever insights or inspirations I gain before they evaporate. After coming out of these flotation sessions, it's essential to take time to sit quietly and reflect on any insights that we might have gained. I make a point of bringing a notebook. Sometimes I have my laptop with me and I'll take it out so that I can capture these insights or whatever ideas or inspiration. And the quiet time after these sessions is so important to give us the opportunity to process and integrate anything that we've gained before jumping back into our busy lives. Flotation sessions can be found all over the United States and in many countries around the world. So I would encourage you to check online to find a flotation center near you. And if you happen to be in Western Massachusetts, anywhere near East Hampton, by all means, check out Go With The Float, our vessel floats if you're 
in New York City. Making consistent use of this valuable resource will definitely accelerate your healing and growth. Also, feel free to reach out to me or you can visit my website. If you'd like to learn more about the intensive series of meditation practices that I teach, as you learn these practices and incorporate them, it's going to enable you to get much more out of any flotation sessions you're doing. Working with these practices awakens or activates the innate healing intelligence residing within your own body and mind. Also, be sure to look below if you happen to be watching this video on YouTube and click like and subscribe. And thank you for joining me for this presentation.